organization to help women and their children. Uh, because I had been there and I know how important it was. So uh, the Bag Lady Foundation was formed out of pure, pure straight love. And uh, when my family and, and Bubbles, my sissy, best friend, found out I was coming home for our class reunion this weekend, uh, she gave Aunt Peggy the choice for us to uh, donate to the foundation that we wanted to, to uh, donate to. And uh, my Aunt Peggy told Susan, hands down, she wanted it to go to the Lord's Pantry because that was that was the uh, the group that Aunt Peggy and Uncle George supported, along with my mother and daddy, Ari and Earl Myers. Uh, the Lord's Pantry meant a lot to them. So, all these years later, we are able to continue what the three of those have done. And we're so proud to give y'all this check for $5,000. Well, it's our pleasure, and be sure and thank Aunt Peggy and Bob. Uh, Susan Green, Susan Green sits on the back of the family. So she works very, very hard. She works very hard. And we hope that that $5,000 will help y'all out so much because there's so many people in need. Well, thank y'all so much for coming and picking up your check. Well, it's going to take all four, y'all. does this uh, kind of donation mean to the Lord's Pantry? This donation will, 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 will help us probably buy about a month's worth of food to keep us going uh, in the future. Well, I know the organization's been in town for a long time helping people. I can remember we're, back we're when... We're on our 40th year. Mr. Henry Duggan started it back in uh, 1975. Uh, and we've been operating uh, ever since uh, uh, here in this area. Were you, were you surprised by the donation? Definitely. <laughs> and... Uh, but you know, the good Lord works in so many ways that uh, and he has provided for us all through the years and he's continuing to do so. And we like to think of ourselves as a safety net for the people who are struggling in our area. And last year we had between 26 and 2700 people that came through our operation seeking help. And, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't understand, they assume that they all they come back every month and get groceries. The average number of visits of that group that come back more than one time is approximately four visits. But they know who they can come and get help when they really feel it. In 2012, we started the Bag Lady Foundation. I was in Savannah at a board meeting, and Paula asked me, she said, I want you to be on um, the Bag Lady Foundation as an independent person, not employed with me, and support me uh, mentally, physically, and hopefully you go drum up some fundraisers. Uh, and I've worked with Paula before on the fundraisers, but long story short, we, our mission statement is to give to the women and children in need like she was when she started with $200. And it has been phenomenal. We operate on fundraiser money. We operate on anybody that wants to send a check. would be great, and it's amazing, the people that have reached out to us. And with it now being on the network, the checks are abounding. So we're able to give back to community uh, organizations that are nonprofit, like we are, to support them as they support us. And I tell you what, Mark Holloway told me, there is no way you're going to get 100 people at this store. And I think 
he has indigestion right now because he's eating those worms. How many do you think y'all got in today? Uh, we probably had over 250. Wow. I know we've got 100 bags to give out with little goodies in them, and when they're gone, they're gone. That's what we advertise. But okay. it has been such a wonderful turnout for her here in Albany. And to choose the Lord's Pantry, her mother and father's and Aunt Peggy's husband, Uncle George. So when we asked Aunt Peggy to choose the foundation that she wanted to give the money to, she didn't bat an eye. She said, the Lord's Pantry. And I was so excited when I talked to Mr. Wilbur at the Lord's Pantry. Their funds were down to nothing. And when I told him what the check was for, he hung up. <laughs> I called him back and he said, Someone will be there. He couldn't be with us today, but someone will be there from the Lord's pantry to accept our child. And it just makes me feel good that she did something at home for us. So and she'll be back. Uh, what got you in town today? The well, I'm here actually. Uh, I said I'm shooting several birds with one stone. Hmm. I'm actually here to celebrate our 49th class reunion. Uh, from Albany High. The class of 64 and 65 have mm -hmm. combined the reunion, mm -hmm. and of course class of 64 is celebrating their 50th year, and us young chickens are celebrating their 49th. And the Bag Lady Foundation? Uh... The, the Bag Lady Foundation is, is my foundation that was born in 2012 to help uh, women in distress and their children. Um, I know that you come back to town an awful lot. I mean, is it, um, do you come every chance you get? Or I is come it... home every chance I get because uh, my Aunt Peggy mm -hmm. still lives here. We built her a cottage next to our house in Savannah, and I'm hoping soon that that's where she will reside. But okay. she's still got a lot of business to do. How's the new Paula Dean Network going? You know, it's going good. I want to encourage everybody to go to PaulaDean.com, and it'll tell them all about the uh, the new network. It's, you know, the first in the history of our country. Uh, the cooking slash lifestyle interactive digital network. It's the first in the history of our country. So, uh, you know, we're learning more about it every day. It's something new for people, but I hope they'll check it out because I'm there waiting on them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you. Best wishes, y'all. Thank you.